Well, the latest first on the tensions between Iran and the United States. And while the U.S. President Donald Trump has warned Iran that any threats of enriching the country's uranium stockpile will come back to bite Tehran. Trump tweeted, and I quote here, Iran has just issued a new warning. Rouhani says that they will enrich uranium to any amount we want if there is no new nuclear deal. Be careful with these threats, Iran. They can come back to bite you like nobody has ever been bitten before, said Trump in his latest tweet. As mentioned in the tweet itself, Trump's warning comes after Iran President Hassan Rouhani announced uh, that after the 7th of July, Iran would enrich uranium beyond a fissile purity of 3.67%. Remember, this number is the uranium limit set for Iran's uranium stockpile under the nuclear deal of 2015. This week alone, Iran has announced not once but twice its intention of undermining the nuclear deal. Rouhani said that Iran's level of enrichment will no longer be 3.67. از 300 کیلو عبور کرده و ادامه پیدا میکنه این برای حفظ برجامه چرا برای حفظ برجامه به دلیل اینکه ما میگیم هر لحظه شما برگردید به تعهدات خودتون ما هم برمیگردیم به زیر 300 کیلو so why exactly does Iran want to exceed the uranium limit? Experts claim that Tehran has no legitimate use for uranium enriched beyond the permitted level. They say that the move is aimed at increasing pressure on Europe, China and Russia. Iran wants these three parties to compensate it for the impact on US, of U.S. sanctions. Now, experts say that the move to increase uranium limit to purely, uh, is purely political and that it cannot be read as Iran's attempt at pursuing nuclear weapons. North Korea's mission to the United Nations has hit out at the U.S. now. It has said that the U.S. is being hell-bent on hostile acts. This despite the U.S. president uh, wanting to have talks with North Korea. Now, North Korea has said that Donald Trump is obsessed with sanctions. It has also slammed the U.S. for ruining the peaceful atmosphere and has asked all U.N. members to keep vigilance against American acts. This even, of course, as they just met the two leaders in the demilitarized zone. The mission statement comes just a few days after Trump became the first sitting U.S. president to cross into North Korea. Trump had invited North Korean leader Kim Jong-un to meet him at the demilitarized zone between the two Koreas. Kim agreed to meet him and both the leaders held a historic meeting uh, where they decided to resume negotiations on denuclearization. The latest statement by North Korea marks a shift in that tone. Uh, the North Korean uh, mission said it was responding to America's accusations that Pyongyang had breached a cap on refined petroleum imports. It has also responded to a June 29th letter by the U.S., France, Germany and U.K. Uh, to U.N. member states. The letter had called for further sanctions on North Korea. It also called for North Korea's workers abroad to be sent home. The statement highlighted the letter was sent on the same day that Trump proposed a meeting with Kim Jong-un. The United States has not yet responded to this statement.